بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على سيدنا ونبينا أبي القاسم المصطفى محمد اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وآل الطيبين الطاهرين لا سيما بقية الله إلا أراضين اللهم أخرجني من ظلمات الله وأكرمني بنور الله اللهم افتح علينا أبواب رحمتك وانشر علينا خزان أولمك برحمتك يا رحمة الله We start the last section of the book and the mujaz of the usul al fiqh This is the eighth section and this is about the conflict between religious references المقصد الثامن في تعارض العدلة الشرعية and there is a conflict for example, between two hadith. The question is, what should we do when two hadith, for example, or two dalil in general conflict, and each of them, if it was alone, was strong. Because if, for example, one of them is weak hadith, another is reliable hadith, there is no conflict. Two should be by itself, each of them by itself is okay. We have to discuss few issues here. Al-Fasl al-Awwal Fit-Ta'arud Ghayr al-Mustaqir Conflict which is not a stable means it's a kind of pseudo conflict but there is a solution for it yeah it's not uh, something which cannot be terminated okay so it's a kind of conflict that can be sorted out can be fixed it's fixable and that is as we will explain when there is a common sense solution jam or fi for example, Am and Khas, Akram Jami al Ulama, and then another hadith says, La Tukram al Fusaka min al Ulama. There may seem to be a conflict, but this conflict is not a real conflict. After a little reflection, every person understands what does it mean. It means Akram al Ulama, illa al Fusaka. Yeah? So. This is called At-Ta'arudu Ghayrul Mustaqir means it's not settling, it's not something which remains, can be sorted out. Al-Fasl al-Thani fi At-Ta'arud al-Mustaqir is when there is conflict and this conflict remains. What should we do? So it's real conflict. And you have to find a solution not to remove conflict. Conflict is there. A solution after conflict. What should we do with this conflict? Yeah. Sometimes you find a way to say there is no conflict. Sometimes you know there is conflict, but now I have to find a preference for one side. And if there is no preference, they are equal, then what should we do? We will discuss. Khatimatul Mataf, and there is a conclusion at the end of our, you know, walk. Fitarud Allah Nahvil Umum al Khusus Min Waj. What should we do when two sorts of Dalil overlap? Al Umum al Khusus Min Waj. You know, like two circles that part of them is common. For example, Akram al-Ulama la tukram al-Fussaq. This is different from la tukram al-Fussaq min al-Ulama. If it is la tukram al-Fussaq min al-Ulama, it is umum khusa mutlaq. But if it is Akram al-Ulama la tukram al-Fussaq, and then when there is alim al-Fasiq, these two overlap. This conflict here. Inshallah, we will talk about all these things. So, Let's go to the first page of the last section to clarify more what do we mean by ta'aruf. 
في تعارض الأدلة الشرعية يعد البحث عن تعارض الأدلة الشرعية وكيفية علاجها من أهم المسائل الأصولية The study of تعارض and how to fix it, how to treat it Allows me to treat to so is one of the most important discussions in usul. Why is qallama yattafiq fi babin? It's very rare to have in any chapter, any you know discussion in fiqh, Allah tujat fi hujjatan muta'aradatan. You can rarely find any chapter, any, you know, group of masail in which there is no conflicting proofs. In the way that Mustanbit, Mujtahid, Mustanbit is the one who does istanbat and Ijtahad, he wants to draw out the ruling, has no way other than fixing this. So always in fiqh you face such issues that there are conflicting evidence. Not in every mas'ale, but in every, as I said, in every chapter, in every few mas'ale. وَلَأَجْلَ تَلْكَ الْأَهَمِّيَّةِ أَفْرَدُوا لَهُ مَقْصَدَ Because of its importance, they have allocated one section to this issue. Yeah, one section. Any book of usul, normally you have about ta'adul <coughs> taraji. What does ta'aruz literally mean? Ta'aruz is baba tafa'ul min al arv. Arv means to submit. Arvul a'mal. Yeah, for example, our a'mal are presented to the hujjah of Allah. Arv means to present. Inna ta'aruz min al-ard wa huwa fi al-lugha bima'na al-ira'a. To submit. Ma'arath in Arabic exhibition is called Ma'arath al-Kitab. Look fair, you know? Ma'kan al-Arv. قال الله سبحانه أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم وعلم آدم الأسماء كلها. الله سبحانه وتعالى taught Adam all the names means all the facts. ثم عرضهم على الملائكة. Then Allah presented them to the angels. فقال أن بأوني بأسماء هؤلاء إن كنتم صادقين. Inform me. About the names of these facts, if you are correct, if you are right, okay. So, arathahum al malaika. The way I understand this is that Allah taught. Adam, the names of all the facts, because when you don't know something's name, it means that you don't know it. If I tell you what is this, if you know it, you would say what's his name. Okay? It's not a matter of language, I'm talking about any language. So, what is this? If you say book, means you know it. Okay? And then for everything inside also there is a name. So, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taught Adam all the names, means all the facts with their names. And then asked angels the, about the facts without telling them the names. And said, you give me the names. Okay? So, for example, taught Adam that this is book. Then showed the angels this. What is this? They didn't know. I'm giving as an example. Because uh, tafsir of this ayah sometimes is not very clear, but this is the best way I understood it. That then Allah said, okay, tell me the name of these things. 
means show that you know what are these things. So, Aradahum means presented. Amastelahan, but the technical meaning, because this was the literal meaning. Ta'aros means two things that present themselves in the face of each other. <laughs> if you want to, uh, you know, translate it literally, means two things stand in the face of each other, ta'aros. But technically, faqad urrafa, it has been defined بِتَنَافِي مَدْلُولَ يَدَّلِيلَيْنَ عَلَى وَجْهِ التَّنَاقُضِ The meaning of two dalil, two references, conflict in the sense of contradiction. This say, I am true, you are wrong. That says, I am true, you are wrong. <laughs> yeah? Or... Inshallah, after one line comes, Allah tawad. Sometimes there is no contradiction, but it is opposition. So the conflict, either it's tanaqud or tawad. Tanaqud, contradiction, a matter of yes and no. For example, Kama idha varada yahrumul asirul inabi qabla tathlis. Suppose if you have two texts, one says grape juice, if it is boiled before two thirds of it evaporates, it's haram. Another says it's not haram. This is contradiction. One says it's haram, one says it's not haram. You know the issue of boiling grape juice. So it should reach the point that two thirds evaporates so that it becomes uh, tahir. So, or tazad. Tazad is not contradiction, it's opposition. It's not a matter of yes and no. It's two things that conflict. For example, one says it is wajib, another says. It is mustaha, for example. This is tazat. Or one says mustaha, one says haram. Because ahkam khamse, they have tazat between themselves. Yeah, all the ahkam khamse, because these are amran wujudiyan. It's not yes and no. It's two exist existential things that oppose each other. Okay? Father? If one alim say it's haram, and uh, another say... Not alim, we are not talking about ulama, we are talking about dalil. Okay, dalil. Yeah. If, if one dalil say it's the salat of haram, and uh, another dalil say halal, is it, is it now... It's this is tanaruz. This is tanaruz. No ta'aruz? Yeah, it's ta'aruz. But ta'aruz in the form of... Ta'aruz has two types. No. Sometimes... Ta'aruz is in the form of tanaquz, means contradiction, yes and no. Sometimes ta'aruz in the form of tawad. It's not yes and no. Two things that cannot be together, but two of them are existential. Like Layla Yes, Layla and Or like wujub and istihbab, istihbab and hurma, wujub and hurma. These are existential. Not hurma and halliya. Hurma and halliya are contradictions. But tawad means, like for example, in mantel, between black and white, there is ta'aruf. But if you say black and non-black, this is tanaquf. Black and white is tawad. Black and non-black is tanaquf. Okay. Oh, ala wajh tawad. Please. Put all the sentence together. So it means Orfa Bitanafi Madlula Yet Dali line. Allah watch it tanaqud or Allah watch it tawad. Okay? The examples you can put it in brackets. So Allah watch it tanaqud or Allah watch it tawad. For example, Tustahab bo salatu buha is mustahab to do salat after sunrise. 
and another may say it's haram. Okay? Summiya hadhan, it's not salat of fajr. You know, salat mustahab, you know, after sunrise. You want to do two rakah, for example, salat mustahab. Summiya hadhan dalilan muta'arzan. Why these two dalil which are mutanaqiz or mutazad are called muta'arz? لِأَنَّ كُلَّنْ يَعْرِضُ نَفْسَهُ عَلَى الْآخِرِ Each of them is presenting itself to the other. Or as I said, it stands in the face of the other. ثُمَّ إِنَّ التَّعَارُزِ Okay, now you understood ta'aruz. Now, ta'aruz can be something that will be quickly solved. You don't need to solve it. It by itself is treated, solved. Or you <coughs> need to find a solution. In ta'aruz by naddalilain, taratan yakunu amran za'ilan bit ta'amul, something that would be removed with reflection, a little bit of ta'amul, you ponder, you reflect, you find how to put them together. وَاللَّازِمُ فِيهِ هُوَ الْجَمْعُ بَيْنَ الْدَلِيلَيْنِ You find a way to keep both dalil together. There is jam. Why we say jam? Because you don't need to give up one of them. You keep both text and find a way that both of them together can make one complete sense. Is it clear? وَاللَّازِمُ فِيهِ هُوَ الْجَمْعُ بَيْنَ الْدَلِيلَيْنِ وَأُخْرَى يَكُونُ بَاقِيًا غَيْرَ زَائِلٍ But sometimes ta'aruz is re, you know, remaining. It remains and doesn't go away. فَالْمَرْجِعُ فِيهِ هُوَ التَّرْجِيهِ أَوَّلَ If ta'aruz remains is mustaqir, first you try to find tarjih, preference. To find a way to give preference to one side. If you cannot find any valid preference. You know, preference should be valid. You cannot say, for example, I do, uh, you know, I throw a coin and, you know. <laughs> what, what they say in English? Toss the coin. Toss the coin. Toss the coin. Yeah. Yeah. We say shir yachar, Hands and toes. Hands and toes. Yes. So this is not the way to solve the problem. So there must be religious preference, something that shara'an is valid to give preference. Fal marj'u fiyeh huwa tarjih awalan, thumma takhir thaniyan. Either tarjih, if there is a preference, a legitimate preference. If not, choice. Therefore, this has become the reason why we should have two chapters. In this section, we have two chapters. One for ta'aruz ghayr al-mustaqir, one is for ta'aruz mustaqir. Al-faslul awwal. I just read half a page if you are okay. I hope you are not tired. Just half a page to set up for the next session. Al Fasdul Avan Fel Jam Raina Dali line. How we can put together two conflicting reference. In other words, at Ta'arudu Ghairul Mustaqir. Ta'arud which is not remaining. Yeah, it is not Difficult to solve the problem. إذا كان التعارض بين الخبرين تعارضا غير مستقر يزول بالتأمل. If it is غير مستقر, it means that with thinking it will be removed. بهيث لا يعد التكلم بهذا النحو على خلاف الأساليب المعروفة. 
بين المقننين وعلماء الحقوق it would not be considered as something which is not common something which is odd among lawmakers and legislators yeah if it is taruz mustaqir it's a negative point you have to find a way to solve it because no one should say something and contradict himself okay so if you find hadith which is contradictory then it shows that maybe uh, one of them was not said by ma'asum although the chain looks okay or maybe was taqiyya you know so you have to find but ta'aruz ghayr mustaqir is something which has no problem common sense people rational people uh, all can do aman khas mutlaqan muqayyad Warud, hukuma, all these things that inshallah will explain. These are things which are common. No problem. La yu'addu takallum bihaza nahm ala khilaf al-asalib al-ma'rufat bayna al-muqamnanin wa ulama al-huquq. Talking in this way is not considered against the familiar methods or common methods. Ma'rufa means known. Muqannanin, lawmakers. Wa ulama al-huquq means scholars of law. Like lawyers and you know experts on law. Bal kana daraj and bainam. It is common among them. Shayyad, daraj. Daraj means shayyad, means common. Fa yuqaddamu fi al-jam'u ala takhir aw al-tarjih aw al-tasaqu. To bring them together and find a common meaning would be given preference compared to saying that we do choice or preference or we drop both of them. Takhir means choice, tarji means preference, tasagot means both of them drop. This is what usuliyun mean. You know, there's a famous sentence that we keep hearing and using in fiqh and usul, we say, al-jam'u mahma amkan awla min al-tarh. Mahma amkan means as much as possible. Al-jam means to put them together. is better than dropping both of them. So when you hear two things, as much as possible, you have to keep both of them and find a common meaning. Yes? This is much better than dropping both of them. But what is important, this jam should be something that everyone would understand in this way. Jam or fi means common sense. You because you can always do jam by bringing something from your pocket. <laughs> we call it jam a tabarroi. <laughs> means you yourself, you know, volunteer, you know. This is not, for example, one hadith says something is haram, another says mubah. Then you say in weekdays is haram, in weekend is mubah. <laughs> okay, the, solu the solution. <laughs> but this is from your pocket. You solve the problem, but there is no evidence for this. Or you say in the time of Gaiba is, you know, for example, mubah in the time of Huzur. This kind of jam can solve the conflict, but it is not acceptable because this is tabarru'i. means you have created something based on your imagination. It should be jam'a or fi. Means any person with common sense would come to this conclusion. Or you should have an evidence for your jam. For example, bring another hadith, another text, which supports your way of putting them together. Is it clear? Maqsooduhum huwa al-jam'ul matloob عند أهل الحقوق والقانون the same way of putting together that experts in law and legislation accept بحيث يعد أحد دليلين قرينة على التصرف في الآخر one of them is used as an evidence to change the meaning of the other هذا ما يعبر عنه بالجمع الأرفي common sense way of putting them together. 
or al jam ma shahid means there is an evidence for it. Opposite to what al jam or tabarroi. Tabarro means to volunteer, which means yajma bain al dalilain or yajma bain al dalilain bila shahid wa qarina. You find a way to keep both of them intact. But this is the way which has no support. Is rejected. الجمع المقبول أصوليون have done their best they tried their best to give us some rules for جمع or fee جمع which is with evidence which is supported وحسروها في العناوين التالية they have found five types of جمع or fee the last one, of course, is more general. At Tahasus Al Wurud Al Hokuma At Tahsis Tagdimul Azahare Ala Zahir. Of course, this etlag and Tahid also is there, but you can put it under Azhar Ala Zahir. Tahasus Wurud. حكومة تخصيص تقديم الأظهر على الظاهر. إن شاء الله we will explain these things إن شاء الله in the next session but just to give you an idea. تخصيص means something is general and you exclude something out of it. Like أكرم العلماء ولا تكرم الفساق منهم. This is taxis. You exclude. Tachasus. Akram al ulama. And there is a person who is not alim. You don't need taxis. This is out by tachasus. Means it's not included. So if he said akram al ulama, and then he said this person who is jahil, you don't need to respect him. This is called tachasus. You understand the difference between taxis and takhasus? Taxis was included, you have to exclude. Takhasus means by itself is out. Taxis is for home jeans, and takhasus is for separate jeans like uh, Alim and Jahil. Yeah, so taxis is included, mm -hmm. but you bring it out. Oh, yes. Then we have hukuma and wurud. Yeah, these two are very uh, complicated, and these are introduced by Sheikh Ansari, Rahmatullah Alai. For example, Shara says, uh, for Salat, you should have Tahara, you should have Wuzu. Then Shara says, at Tawafu Salatun. Tawaf is also like Salat. But this is the saying of Shara makes it part of it. Okay? So uh, we will explain it. Uh, just it's something which is more difficult and needs some exercise from Shara. <coughs> and in general, anything which is more clear, stronger in Mzahir than the other, like Mutlaq and Muqayyad, Am and Khas, all these things finally go back to this rule, according to some. So, just prepare yourself if you can study in advance, so that we will explain the difference between these, especially for Wurud and Hukuma. What is the difference between these two and between them and Taksis? And then after that, inshallah, then we go for Ta'aruf al Mustaqir. What is ta'aruz which is not easily solved and needs treatment? Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen.